up, everybody? What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? What is up, everybody? What am I doing? I don't know. What's up, everybody? Um, this is Joey. Aloha. What's up, everybody? This is Joey. Aloha. And I hope you guys are having a good day. And I wanted to come to you today to share with you one of my favorite places. One of my favorite places, and uh, that is in uh, Thailand, specifically Koh Sa Mui. <sighs> that is in Thailand, Koh Sa Mui. So if you want to know what place I'm talking about in Koh Sa Mui, stay tuned. If you are still here, thank you. So, <laughs> let's get right on into it. <laughs> so I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite places that I visited and that I would like to return to again. First on that list is gonna be Thailand, Koh Samui specifically, and the Tong Sai Bay Resort. And it was my first time being in Koh Samui as well. Place is one that I hold near and dear to my heart. I will hold this memory in my heart forever and ever and ever and ever again. Till my dying day, I will hold this memory into my heart. <sighs> I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest with you guys. When I went to this place and I, you know, got situated, sat down my luggage and whatever, I literally heard trumpets and the angels singing calling down from heaven, like I just felt like, I don't know, the energy that I felt in this place was phenomenal. It was something out of this world. I don't know what it was, but I felt good. Like I felt, mind you at the time I was going through writer's block, like I couldn't like concentrate on writing. I couldn't even think about anything to do with writing. And as soon as I got there, it's just, everything just opened up. Like it just cleared, you know? This resort has its own, it's, it's, on, it's on its own compound, which is so cool. So when you go and drive it into the place, you're on it, it's on its own private compound away from, you know, other tourists and stuff like that and it is set up in like uh there's villas and uh, it looks like it looks like you're driving into like an apartment complex or like townhome division or you know uh some sort of a housing division that has villas and stuff like that that's what it looks like when you first drive in there uh you go through all the vegetation and stuff like that and you see them growing you know you see them working the land and stuff like that and they're they grow their own fruit and vegetables right on the compound, which is so awesome and so beautiful. Once you check in, they actually drove us to our villa in a, a golf cart or whatever, because it's, it's, pre it's a pretty big area. You know, it's set up, like I said, it's set up like a whole community. It's like a whole, like whole neighborhood up in that piece. This place has beachfront suites, seafront cottages, pool cottages, all types of, you know, private villas, you know, for you to go in. So it's not like you're in this hotel, uh, an enclosed hotel, and you just go up in a hotel in the elevator room. No, you have your own cottage or villa or whatever you select and whatever you booked. It just brings the whole experience up some notches. For me, it did anyways. So... <laughs> On this property, they had a spa. They got like dining areas, restaurants, bars. We got room service there. You have a library where you can check out movies. Okay, we stayed in a hideaway cottage. This cottage fits three adults and it fits two children. All those people didn't go with us. It was just me and somebody else. If I can find pictures of it, I'll go ahead and post them somewhere over here. If you guys don't see nothing, then I couldn't find nothing, okay? Okay, uh, when they first pull you up to the villa, it's like your own private villa that you have, um, detached from anybody else's villa, or what do you call them? Anyways, detached from anybody else's place where they're staying. So, you first come up to it, you have a wooden gate, uh, a wooden gate to come into, you know, your terrace. So you open that door, you come in, come onto the terrace, and on the terrace, the first thing that I would see, that I saw, was a tub. There's a big, white tub that's sitting out there, and it had like water in it, and it had like flowers, like, 
like fuchsia color flowers, not petals, but like whole flower or petals. I'm lost right now. I had like a towel on the side, you know, for if you wanted to use a bath as well. Also on the terrace itself, there's what they call a gazebo, but it looks sort of like a, a canopy bed kind of, but it's a gazebo to where you, and it has like a, a a mosquito netting around it and you can like just sit out there you know with pillows and you can lie down you can sit out there or whatever and it also had column sun loungers it had two of those out there as well and then they had uh, a huge uh, dining table wooden dining table for you to sit at as well and behind the dining table you have uh, a wet bar and you have a, a mini refrigerator and a sink as well while we're on the terrace if you went to the right there would be another room there that you can open up and it had like two full-size beds and um, AC and also its own bathroom and with a shower and everything in there too, which is pretty cool. So now the main part of the house, that thing is set up like its own little apartment or whatever. So you have a little small living room with a window, with a window that you can look off onto the terrace. And then also there's a big king size bed and this space, it wasn't like you were in a, it wasn't like you were in a room. You were in like a, an actual villa, you know, it was a lot of space. A lot of people could have stayed in there, fit in there. You got your television, you got your AC unit in there and everything. And it was it was pretty awesome. And another class that I liked, uh, we went into the room. There's like a huge fruit basket. And this fruit basket had those fruit that we passed by on the way to check in. Those fresh fruit grown on the compound were in there. So they had like nice ass mangoes, big fat juicy mangoes. They had um, mango steam. They had, I think they had like, then they had dragon fruit and I think they had star fruit in there and some other stuff in there. I can't recall what was in there, but that fruit basket didn't last long anyways, cause I killed it. Now at the Tongsai Bay, they do have different villas and stuff like that. Um, like I said, our villa that we stayed in was a hideaway cottage. I think that, yeah, it's the hideaway cottage that we stayed in. Um, I'm not, I try to actually check the rates to see what the rates were now. Um, they're not giving you the rates right up front. You have to like, you have to submit an inquiry uh, to them and then they will send you back the rates. But you might be able to go to like one of those other travel websites or something to see if they will give you like, uh, the price of the, the rooms and everything like that. But I can't say that it is not cheap, but it's, then it is worth it. It's worth having the experience. It's worth having the peace and quiet and the serenity that the whole compound offers. Uh, there is a private beach as well. There's like parasailing and some boat activity stuff on there, but I didn't do any of that. And let me tell you something, it was so hot there. It was so hot. I had to wear slippers to walk on the sand to get in before I got into the water. It was so hot. I mean, my feet were like cooking. It was so hot. I probably got about four, at least four shades darker when I was there. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to find some pictures I can show you. But yo, this place, Tongsai Bay, still has a place in my heart. And um, yeah, it's still number one to me. It's still number one in Koh Samui to me. Forgot to mention this too. I will say that we had we had travel service from the airport. Flew uh, Bangkok Airways. I think it's Bay, is Bangkok Airways. Yeah, we flew Bangkok Airways from Singapore to Koh Samui. And they picked us up from the airport, you know, with the whole, you know, you see on TV, they'll have like the, your name on a, a big card or whatever waiting for you. It was one of those kind of things, like right out of TV. So we had that and then they took us there. So um, once we got there, they also let us know that there were uh, tour guides, you know, that we could hire as well, which is pretty awesome. So we didn't have to look around uh, for people to guide us around the island. Uh, we definitely went down, uh, what is it, uh, Lamai Beach Road? Yeah, we went down Lamai Beach Road and we did some shopping down that road and also got some some eats, some uh, good food. I ate the, uh, the best green curry that I ever had in my life down that road. I forget the name of the, the restaurant. I'll have to look it up. Also, I will say that we did use a spa at the, the hotel as well. That was my first time getting uh, uh, like one of those Thai kind of massages or a massage when they like stand on you, but they literally like hold on to a bar up here and they're like, you know, walking on you, you know, walking on you, which is pretty cool, right? I'm 6'2", and I think they're probably like really short. I don't, I don't know. That was one of the best massages that I ever had in my life, hands down. I fell asleep in there like three or four times. It was 
so cool in there. And then we also went to, uh, what is it called? Wat Kunara Temple. And they had a mummified monk there, uh, which is pretty different. People go to that temple daily, and you go there to, to make merit and pray. And then we went to uh, the Big Buddha, which is pretty cool. Also, we went to Grandfather's and Grandfather's, Grandmother's Rock, which these rocks, they have like, uh, one of them, I don't know if you call it a phallic symbol or phallic symbol. It looks like, um, yeah, this is a, it's, a, it's a phallic symbol, like a male phallic symbol. And I don't know what you call a female's symbol. I don't know what it's called, but I'm going to put a picture here and you put two and two together and you, you'll you know what I'm talking about. We also went to a couple of uh, gift shop places, but I don't know what areas where they were in. The tour guide just took us around. Also, I will tell you that it was pretty cool that back at the resort, they have, uh, they would give us like, complimentary sandwiches and you know you have the this Thai brand I forgot the name of the brand bottled water which is pretty cool like water like in a nice bottle I wish I could have brought one of those back but uh, it probably would have broken in my luggage or something I don't know they had like the bomb breakfast buffet you can get like American style stuff like omelets and steak and stuff like that if you want to have that for breakfast but they also have like the uh, traditional you know, Asian, Thai style breakfast foods, you know, noodles and fruit and you know, all that kind of stuff, which is pretty cool, which is right up my alley. I love that stuff anyways. Overall, I would say the experience was pretty darn good. I really want to go back there soon if I can. It was a magical experience for me. The guy was telling us like the most, the most crime that the area sees is like, maybe like a purse snatching or a car accident or something like that. I mean, that was pretty like reassuring. I didn't have any issue communicating with anybody. There wasn't really that much of a language barrier that I experienced on the trip there or while we were there. Um, even going into like 7-Elevens and stuff like that and ordering food at different restaurants. I didn't, I never had any issues. The only thing I actually brought back from Koh Samui and I stole it, ooh. Don't tell anybody. It's this little bag that I put like some of the sand in it. What is in here still? This is beach sand. Something else is in here. Ooh, bee. Nah, this is <laughs> this is actually mugwort that I put in here. And it was a little, it's a little bag that says Coast somewhere, which I thought was pretty cool. I mean, what were they gonna do with it? It was already messed up anyways. If you can see, Tong Sai Bay. Yeah. I have a lot of other souvenirs and stuff like that too, but yeah, I'm not getting into that. But yeah. That was one of the places that I really love and I really would like to go back to over and over and over and over and over again. If you guys can, check them out. I love the experience being out on the terrace, sitting out and, cause from the terrace you can see the ocean and you can see the ocean like right there. I love having that experience and I love hearing the, the birds, the, the native birds to uh, the area, which is so cool and they sound so, they sound pretty cool cause I'm not used to hearing that on a day to day basis living in the states so yeah it was pretty awesome overall i would definitely go there again and i want to go there again hopefully i can go soon i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i'll be hopefully i'll be uh i will definitely try to share more of my favorite places um on here as well and uh, peace out aloha annyeong ciao